Hi, my name is Piotr, and I want to tell you how you can simplify your work with Hyperledger Fabric using our latest open source. So, what's your biggest problem when working on Hyperledger projects? Yes, it's setting up every new network or updating it, right? Does it, it's not familiar? Well, typical Fabric project starts with initial network design. You probably want something simple just to start with, to deploy your chain code, test a little bit, and maybe demo to the clients. And that initial idea is handled to developers, which produce Docker Compose, configuration YAMs, and bash scripts to tie everything up. And after some time, you probably want to upgrade your network. Maybe add a new organization, new channel, another chain code. And that improved idea is handled to developers again, which revisit and carefully update all previously written files. And after some time, since upgrades and redesigns are pretty normal thing, you want to do it again. And you basically do it all the time. But don't get me wrong, Fabric is really great. It gives you a lot of features, a lot of network abstractions, and a flexibility to combine them all. But all of this can be really complicated. You're constantly revisiting same files, and every new project means new files and same problems. Also, there is no clear network description. So every newcomer must ask the team or make reverse engineering to figure out how the network looks like. All of this can be really time consuming. So you basically can't focus on experiments and find the best idea for your case. We've been there and that's why we've invented Fabrica. Now with every new cycle, you write your idea of a network to a JSON file. And that JSON file is handled to Fabrica which will generate all needed files for you. Now you can store all informations just in one file and version control only in that file. It should be a win for everybody. But enough of theory, let's see some code. Here we have a simple project that contains two chain codes, one written in Java and the second one written in plain JavaScript. As you can see, there are no network informations or any scripts and we'll try to change it. First, let's open up the terminal and install Fabrica. As you can see, it's just a simple bus script that communicates with dedicated Docker. And after its installation, we can type Fabrica in it. And this command will generate sample Fabrica configuration file. This file contains information about root organization, about first organization, about channel, and about the chain code. And the chain code informations are pointing to plain JavaScript chain code. And now, with one command, we can transform it into actually running network. Let's type Fabrica up and point to our configuration file. And while it's executing, let's examine what actually happened here. So as you can see, Fabrica generated all files in one directory. And this directory contains Docker Compose with all services. It also contains configuration YAMs for Fabric and scripts to install everything. So as you can see, there is absolutely no magic here. And if you have some custom case, you can include those files back and reuse them. Or if you don't, you can base on one configuration file. And voila, everything should be running now. So we have already prepared network with one chain code, two peers, certificate authority, one order, and other useful things. And that's not all. We can complicate it a little bit. So let's reopen our Fabrica config JSON and change it a little bit. So first, let's upgrade our Fabric version. Enable TLS communication. 
Let's change our order type to raft with three instances. Let's also add second organization. And let's just call it organization two. And also, let's add missing Java chain code. We'll just call it chain code two. Of course, written in Java. But let's install this chain code on another channel. And let's create channel named my channel two between organization one and organization two. And now let's execute Fabrica Recreate. As currently we don't support updates of running networks yet, we must destroy our network and create it again. Let's wait for it. And it's done. We've just created complicated network in just a few seconds. Also, everything was validated against our JSON schema, so we are sure that it's correct. If you like Fabrica, visit it on GitHub or Product Hunt. Also, you're welcome to share your feedback, collaborate with us, and spread the world. Thanks, and see you in blockchain community.